Hello, BCS community. I am here with Josh Chatnick. He's a fifth grader from our Joe Works 54. And um, we have some exciting news to tell you. Birmingham Cummington was awarded the Platinum Award at this year's Cyber Fair, and I'm here to talk to Josh about that. Josh, how are you? Good. Good, good. I have some questions. Is it okay if I ask you? Yeah. Okay, Josh, what exactly is the Cyber Fair? Cyber Fair is a worldwide competition. There's lots of different topics you can choose, and you make a website or a wiki and um, to describe your topic. And like Our topic was environmental awareness, and we made a wiki. You can visit that wiki at riverrougewatershed.wikis.birmingham.k12.mi.us. And we, um, and we said, like, how we're being good stewards for our environment and helping our watershed. Wow, so it's a worldwide competition. So yeah. explain, and I understand um, we received the Platinum Award, yeah. and we were, I believe, only, uh, we're the only school in the United States to receive that Platinum yeah. Award. And then there's one other in Romania and the rest were in Asia. Across in Asia. Wow, that's awesome. Great job. Um, so explain to us a little bit what uh, your class did to participate in the cyber fair. Like we uh, made a wiki describing how we were being good stewards for our environment and how we were keeping it green. And like we go to the Rouge twice a year, all the five, six, and we test the water quality. And we um, so we know what's in the water and we look at the um, life in the water and we test it so we know what we can do to help the water quality and make it better. Great. What, uh, what role did you play? Like, um, so we sort of all work together. Okay. Um, and we all made the wiki together and we put in information, like we all put in information about it and we, um, the fifth graders, we did a Siemens, a Siemens challenge and we, um, we did something called the Energy Patrol, and um, and we like we would go at, at 405 somebody every day in every hall. For example, maybe someone would go to the 400 hall and turn off all the dock cams and the computers and the lights and stuff, so it would save energy. And the fifth graders and uh, Joberts 54 did that. Yeah, and and I want to thank Josh and his classmates for doing that because actually um, a couple days ago I just found out that we. We're in the top three schools in Birmingham Public Schools that have saved energy this year. And that uh, we can say that that was on our students. So great job with that. Mm -hmm. Going back to the cyber fair, um, this sounds like a lot of science and something you did yeah. during the science class. But it's not maybe your normal science lesson. No, was this different from that and, and um, how? Um, yeah, it was really different because it was sort of like science and social studies mixed together. Because maybe we learned about how we could help that, and that was the sciencey part. Mm -hmm. And then maybe, and then we learned about the geography and stuff, and all the erosion, and maybe that was the social studies part. And um, yeah. Yeah, that's great. So as a fifth grade student, um, you, I know you guys spent a lot of time. You went to the River Rouge. Uh, what was it? One time a month, I think. Um, no, twice a year. Twice a year. Okay, and. Um, so was this worthwhile for you? Is it something that you would want to participate again here at Covington? Yeah, and we actually just went to the River Rouge on May 19th. So okay. Yeah, I thought this was a really good experience. And Great. Now, with, along with anything, there's always challenges. So let's end this interview with maybe the one challenge that you had. And if you had to do it all over again, how might you be able to um, uh, turn that challenge into an opportunity? Well, like, our challenges were we had to find the right information, and we had to make sure that it was true. You couldn't go Google, Mrs. Roberts calls it GCP, Google copy-pasting, and you say, oh, click on that, oop, that looks good, copy, paste. You can't just do that. You have to go and make sure it's the right information, and it's the right, and it sounds right, and it fits into the right category. And we had to make sure that it was very descriptive, and everybody knew what we were doing. And we also, we went on lots of field trips. Um, there was, a, we went on a field trip with a, there was a professor from U of M Dearborn, okay. and he guided the field trip. And yeah, we went on, we went on lots of field trips. Great, great. Well, it sounds like you're learning outside of the classroom. Yeah. And that's what we're all about here at, at uh, Covington. <laughs> we want to think globally, act locally, 
And uh, that's truly a geeked lesson. Thank you, Josh. We appreciate it. So here with Josh Chatnick, fifth grader in the Jobers 54. Congratulations to you and your teachers and your classmates. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to throw the wiki page um, site. If, if you look on the blog, it will be underneath uh, this video so people can go and see exactly what you guys did and, and yeah. hopefully learn from your work. And you can, there's a whole bunch of pages that you can scroll through. Like, there's lots of pages that say, like, what we did on field trips. So you can scroll through those. Great. Well, thank you, Josh. Mm -hmm. Great job.